The Red Sea Beach Resorts, known for their breathtaking turquoise waters and golden sands, attract tourists from all over the world. However, hidden within this picturesque paradise lies a lurking danger that often goes unnoticed. Sharks, a threat people rarely consider while vacationing in luxury resorts, proved their presence in a horrifying incident that unfolded on June 8, 2023. Yuri Popov and his 23-year-old son Vladimir, originally from Russia, had settled in Egypt a few months earlier. Vladimir had been working remotely as an IT specialist in Hergata, seeking refuge from the war with Ukraine. Eager to enjoy the cool waters of the Red Sea, they visited the waterfront next to the Dream Beach Hotel on that fateful day. As the beach was bustling with activity, locals and tourists were swimming and splashing about in the shallow waters. Vladimir joined the others while his father remained on the sandy shore. Laughter filled the air as children excitedly slid down slides and splashed into the water. The Red Sea Resort was perceived as safe, featuring lifeguards and calm waters. Suddenly, shouts of concern rang out, catching Vladimir's attention. He looked around, noticing other swimmers rushing towards the beach. Holiday makers screamed at him their eyes fixed on the telltale dorsal fin slicing through the water's surface. It was a large dark gray shark circling Vladimir and gradually tightening its circle. Panic set in as he realized the danger he was in. Attempting to escape, Vladimir made a desperate dash for the shore, but his efforts were in vain. While others managed to reach safety, the shark had singled out Vladimir as its prey. With an ominous presence, it locked its eyes on the young man from the depths below. Vladimir had unknowingly sealed his fate, being too far from the safety of the shore. In a swift and terrifying moment, the shark closed in on Vladimir, grabbing him in its jaws. He thrashed around in the water, spinning and kicking in a futile attempt to free himself. The shark's grip tightened, dragging him beneath the surface. Amidst the chaos, Onlookers witnessed his legs flailing above the water as he fought back. Then, in a sudden release, Vladimir resurfaced, visibly injured and disoriented. For a few heart-stopping moments, everything seemed still. Vladimir, surrounded by the crimson-stained water, began swimming towards the shore, hoping against hope. Perhaps the shark had taken one bite and realized he wasn't its usual prey. Nervously, he summoned his remaining strength, determined to reach dry land. However, his progress was short-lived as the terrifying shadow of the shark reappeared, showing it wasn't finished with its attack. Desperately crying out to his father on the beach, Vladimir's pleas for help fell upon powerless ears. The shark, closing in once again, latched onto him, its powerful jaws enveloping his torso. As the sea bubbled and boiled, the shark thrashed violently, repeatedly lifting his body out of the water. Vladimir's life hung in the balance as the shark dragged him deeper underwater. The whole ordeal had been caught on camera by other beachgoers. In the terrifying video, Popoff can be seen splashing about in the ocean before getting dragged under as horrified onlookers scream for help. A nearby lifeguard from a neighboring hotel sprang into action as soon as the attack began. Leaping into a speedboat, he raced towards the unfolding tragedy, but it was too late. The lifeguard and team arrived mere seconds after Vladimir had vanished from sight. Helpless and devastated, they could do nothing but witness the aftermath of the brutal attack. Authorities launched a search for the tiger shark which had lingered in the area and was easily spotted from the speedboats. They encircled the large predator, trailing fishing nets behind them. Eventually, they managed to capture the shark and brought it ashore. In the act of revenge, the crowd surrounding the motionless shark unleashed a torrent of blows using metal bars and wooden sticks until the shark lay lifeless on the beach. The tragic event left the beach resort community in shock and mourning. A post-mortem examination and investigation were announced to understand the circumstances leading to the attack. During the investigation, it was discovered that some parts of the victim's body were found inside the tiger shark's stomach. 
all those shark attacks were uncommon in the Red Sea coastal resorts. Two deadly incidents were near Hurghada in 2022. These incidents caused people to worry about the safety of the water and how it could affect the local tourism industry. Tiger sharks are known for their aggressive nature and are considered one of the most dangerous shark species. However, it's important to note that they don't typically target humans as their preferred prey. Instead, they may occasionally confuse humans with their natural prey, such as seals or other marine animals that they typically perceive as food. These sharks have a varied diet and are known to be opportunistic hunters, often consuming a wide array of prey, including fish, turtles, seabirds, and even dolphins. They have a reputation for having a voracious appetite and are known to eat almost anything they come across. Despite their occasional attacks on humans, it's important to understand that such incidents are relatively rare. Shark attacks, including those by tiger sharks, are generally uncommon, and most interactions between humans and sharks are peaceful. Despite that, when planning to swim in areas where shark attacks have occurred, it's essential to take precautions and follow safety guidelines to minimize the risk of encountering these powerful creatures. Following the incident, the beach area and the other nearby stretches of coastline, encompassing approximately 50 miles, were closed to the public for three days. Swimming, snorkeling, and kayaking were strictly forbidden until authorities deemed them safe to resume. It's also been reported that the tiger shark's remains that attacked Vladimir were mummified and displayed at the Institute of Marine Sciences Museum and the Red Sea Reserves. After the sad incident, Vladimir's body was taken back to Russia, and instead of burying him, his father Yuri chose to cremate him according to his wishes. This event is a powerful reminder of how unpredictable and dangerous sea creatures can be, and it shows us the harsh and unyielding dangers that the ocean holds. It was a foggy day in 1967 in Sydney, Australia. Three adults and a child set off on a scenic day trip along Australia's coastline. Driving through the eastern suburb of Dover Heights, the dense fog enveloped the road, reducing their visibility to a mere haze. In the back seat, a child grew restless, dropping a toy he couldn't reach. To calm the child, the driver momentarily took his eyes off the road, not realizing the fatal misjudgment he was about to make. In that split second, disaster struck. The car crashed through the safety barrier, hurtling down the cliffside. As it tumbled through the air, the passengers flew forward, their piercing screams echoing in the atmosphere. Miraculously, the car became ensnared on jutting rocks, its terrifying vertical position defying gravity. Amidst the chaos, the front passenger smashed through the shattered windscreen, plunging into the water below. The loud splash reverberated through the mist, capturing the attention of lurking sharks. Fourteen of these relentless predators converged upon the lifeless body, and a frenzy of thrashing and tearing stained the water crimson. Meanwhile, the driver trapped inside the car desperately attempted to reach the other passengers. With trembling hands and a heavy heart with dread, he realized they were unresponsive, their fate sealed. Clinging to the edge of the cliff, the driver called out for help his head throbbing and blood seeping down his face, impairing his vision. Time seemed to stretch on as he clung to hope, his pleas echoing in the foggy abyss. After what felt like an eternity, the rocks finally gave way. The car plunged into the water, submerging the driver in a watery prison. The rising waters became a cruel reminder of his impending doom, while hungry sharks encircled the half-submerged vehicle their primal instincts ignited by the scent of blood. Overwhelmed by panic, the driver desperately struggled to free himself from the entangled seatbelt, his heart gripped with fear. Each second felt like an eternity as he battled against the encroaching water. Finally, through sheer determination, he managed to unclip the seatbelt, setting himself on a dangerous path to escape. 
Summoning his courage, the driver filled his lungs with a deep breath, mentally preparing himself for what lay ahead. With a determined resolve, he braved the unknown as he submerged into the dark and murky depths of the water. As he descended, a sense of unease washed over him, intensified by the ominous presence of shadowy figures circling around him. The sight of these unknown creatures sent shivers down his spine, a chilling reminder of the danger surrounding him. Surrounded by the circling predators, the driver's heightened senses caught a fleeting opportunity, a momentary gap within the encircling mass. Seizing the chance without hesitation, he propelled himself forward, using all of his strength to push off from the driver's seat. With a powerful thrust, he propelled his body through the shattered remnants of the windscreen, the sharp edges slicing through the water with an eerie grace. As he moved through the water, he could feel the resistance against his body, the weight of the liquid pressing against every movement. The murky surroundings obscured his vision, but his determination remained unwavering. With each stroke, he propelled himself closer to the surface, propelled by adrenaline and sheer willpower. The jagged remains of the windscreen served as a treacherous pathway, demanding caution and precision. Despite the potential hazard posed by the glimmering fragments of glass in the dim light, the driver pressed on with unwavering determination, undeterred by the imminent danger. The adrenaline coursing through his veins heightened his senses, allowing him to navigate through the sharp edges with a remarkable sense of awareness. Blood oozing from his head wound was a sinister lure for the lurking sharks. Sensing his vulnerability, they swam closer, their sleek bodies gliding through the water. Emerging from the depths, the driver managed to cling to the roof of the sinking car, his heart pounding aggressively. Time was running out. Sharks still lurked inside the car, seeking their next victim. Summoning every ounce of courage, the driver prepared for his final desperate act. He dove toward the nearby shoreline, his arms and legs moving in a frenzy, propelled by the raw instinct to survive. Each stroke through the water felt like a struggle against fate itself. Fear gnawed at his core as he imagined the sharp bite of a shark's jaws closing around him. Against all odds, with sheer determination, he reached the shore his trembling hands grasping onto the rough rocks. From the safety of the shoreline, the driver watched as the car sank beneath the water's surface, consumed by the frenzy thrashing and splashing of the sharks. Emergency services arrived, rescuing the survivor from the clutches of the sea. He was rushed to the hospital, his body bearing the marks of severe head and neck injuries and the deep wounds of shock. Physically, he eventually recovered, but the emotional scars of losing his friends in the terrifying shark attack ran deep. The exact species of shark that had caused such devastation remained a mystery, but experts speculated that it might have been the notorious bull sharks known for their deadly hunting tactics in groups. This harrowing tale stands as a haunting reminder that humans are vulnerable in the domain of sharks and that their encounters can have fatal consequences. It serves as a chilling testament to the unpredictable nature of the sea and the enduring fear it instills in our hearts. It was a sunny summer day on June 25, 2005 as 14-year-old Jamie Marie Daigle and her friend Felicia Venable played along the Florida Panhandle Beach. The waves crashed gently, inviting the girls to explore the vast expanse of the Gulf of Mexico. Having recently finished the eighth grade with honors, Jamie looked forward to her vacation before starting high school. Accompanied by only the sounds of laughter and the rhythmic lull of the waves, the girls ventured deeper into the crystal-clear waters. Unbeknownst to them, Danger lurked beneath the surface, patiently waiting for its opportunity to strike. Suddenly, out of the depths of the ocean, a dark shadow emerged, 
slicing through the waves with a haunting grace. At first, it appeared as nothing more than a distant speck, but with each passing moment, the shadow grew larger, advancing steadily towards the shore. A knot of unease tightened in Jamie's stomach as the menacing presence drew nearer. Felicia, sensing her friend's unease, followed Jamie's gaze and her eyes widened in alarm. The emerging silhouette left no room for doubt. It was the unmistakable, commanding outline of a shark. Its dorsal fin cut through the water like a sharp blade, and realizing the imminent danger sent chills down the girl's spines. Fear gripped them both, paralyzing their bodies for a moment. Their carefree laughter was replaced with pounding hearts, and the joy of building sandcastles was now overshadowed by the primal instinct to survive. Their minds raced, trying to comprehend the sudden shift from joy to potential peril. As the shark drew closer, its predatory instincts awakened by the presence of potential prey, and the girls instinctively moved closer to each other, seeking safety in each other's presence. They could feel the pulse of the ocean now, the rhythm of the waves mirroring the rhythm of their frightened hearts. With a swift predatory motion, the shark propelled itself forward, its powerful muscles propelling it through the water with an unimaginable speed. Before Jamie could even comprehend what was happening, the menacing jaws of the shark snapped shut around her delicate leg. The impact was bone chilling, sending waves of excruciating pain coursing through her body. Jamie's scream of agony was muffled by the rush of water engulfing her. In that harrowing moment, she sensed an irresistible force tugging her downward, plunging her into the unforgiving abyss. The force of the attack was relentless, dragging her beneath the surface, her body at the mercy of the shark's primal strength. The crashing waves drowned Jamie's screams as the shark tore into her flesh. Blood stained the water, creating an eerie crimson hue contrasting with the serene beach surroundings. Felicia, frightened by the gruesome scene, instinctively swam towards the safety of the shore, hysterically screaming for help. The commotion caught the attention of nearby beachgoers, including Chris White, a state health inspector and volunteer firefighter, and Robert Atkinson, a bystander. Their eyes widened with disbelief as they witnessed the horrifying scene before them, an innocent girl caught in the clutches of an insatiable predator. Meanwhile, amidst his enjoyment of the waves, a 54-year-old surfer named Tim Dykus caught the piercing cries for help. Without hesitation, he paddled toward the source of the screams, his heart pounding in sync with the crashing waves. Upon reaching the chaotic scene, Tim discovered Jamie's motionless body laying face down in the pool of her own blood. The presence of the shark nearby heightened his determination. Tim placed Jamie's limp body onto his surfboard with every ounce of strength and bravery, desperately trying to protect her from the relentless shark's advances. But the shark, driven by its insatiable hunger, refused to let its prey escape so easily. It circled Tim and Jamie, its beady eyes fixed on its next opportunity to strike. Ignoring the danger that loomed beneath, Tim and the others formed a united front, determined to save Jamie's life. Again and again the shark lunged, its jaws snapping mere inches from Tim and Jamie. Tim used every resource at his disposal with each attack, delivering powerful blows to the shark's nose, momentarily dissuading its relentless pursuit. Their struggle against the relentless predator continued as they desperately propelled themselves towards the shore. The beach seemed so far away, an agonizing distance to cover with the weight of Jamie's lifeless body and the relentless shark doggedly trailing behind. Fueled by adrenaline and determination, Chris swam toward Tim and Jamie, drawing closer with every stroke. Though still shaken to her core, Felicia could only watch helplessly from the shore, unable to provide the rescuers with any crucial information about the incident. Driven by sheer determination, the rescue team battled against overwhelming odds, inching closer to safety with every heavy stroke. Finally, the shore neared a beacon of hope in their harrowing journey. 
their battle against the relentless shark intensified as it repeatedly attempted to claim its prize. Yet, they evaded its vicious jaws through a collective display of unwavering courage and determination. Finally, with their energy spent and their hearts heavy, they reached the shore. But it was too late. Jamie, a young life full of promise, could not be revived. The community mourned the tragic loss, grieving the unfulfilled potential of a bright young girl whose life had been cut short. In the wake of the devastating incident, a 20-mile stretch of the beach was temporarily closed, a somber reminder of the price paid for venturing too far into the treacherous waters. A memorial etched with Jamie Marie Daigle's name stood tall, serving as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the ever-present dangers beneath the surface. The following morning, a shark sighting near the shoreline raised concerns among the residents, a chilling reminder of the perpetual threat lurking just beneath the safety of the sandy beaches. And while life moved on, the memory of Jamie Marie Daigle lived on, forever etched in the hearts of those who had witnessed the horror and loss on that fateful summer day.